Look what sick liberals just accused Melania of stealing from British royals on her overseas trip. Melania Trump hasn't even been back on United States soil for a full 48 hours after her week-long overseas presidential trip, but disturbed liberals are already attacking. They waited until she returned to make a sickening claim about what they say they saw her steal from the British royals while on her trip. Our incredibly classy first lady impressed dignitaries and the public in every country she stepped foot in on her first overseas trip in her new White House role. She represented our great nation to perfection carrying herself with elegance and compassion for others as she interacted with both her international counterparts and sick children she visited in hospital in every place she traveled to. American patriots couldn't have been more proud of her which is perhaps why the liberal media had to go immediately on the attack with something they conjured up to make her look like a thief on a grand scale. Melania's flawless style was on full display on the world stage as she dressed herself in exquisite attire appropriate for each occasion. She was even complimented on her conservative class by the Saudi Arabia press who were impressed by the way she and Ivanka Trump carried themselves despite foregoing the traditional Islamic headscarf most were when visiting the Muslim nation. However, the American media was far less complimentary of our First Lady, accusing her of stealing from Cape Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge. At the conclusion of the G7 summit in Tarmina, Italy, the Trumps attended a concert by the La Scala Philharmonic Orchestra. As the exclamation point on a week of incredible style, Melania dressed for the event in a dazzling silver gown by her notoriously supportive designer, Dolce & Gabbana. She had worn several outfits by the luxury label on the trip after other designers controversially refused to dress her for being married to a man they didn't vote for. Today, Yahoo News is suggesting that Melania stole this look from Kate Middleton who happened to wear a dress vaguely similar to it in February. The Duchess silver frock was by a completely different designer and didn't have anything to do with why Melania wore a silver dress to a concert. The online publication then made their accusation worse with something else they said. Taking away all style credit from our first lady who dresses herself rather than paying for a team of stylists, the Yahoo article said Melania has plenty of former first ladies to look to for fashion inspiration, but chose to copy Middleton instead. Our first lady does an incredible job on her own and doesn't need to steal anyone's style. To say she does is insult to the injury caused in the past of designers lining up to boycott this beautiful woman. Although Melania Trump has plenty of former first ladies to look to for fashion inspiration, it seems that her mood board has more pictures of Kate Middleton than Jackie Kennedy, the Yahoo article said. It's even possible that the former model is going so far as to emulate some of the Duchess of Cambridge's most iconic looks. For every color Melania has worn, Yahoo found a photo of Middleton wearing the same color as proof that Melania is copying her. It's not unusual for a woman to wear red, silver, light blue, or black, but the liberal news outlet made it an indictment on our first lady's character. The dresses in these colors between these two wonderful women weren't even the same, so their proof failed on delivery. The liberal media will stop at nothing to try to make Melania look bad, even attacking her on the most innocuous of offenses such as what she wore to a concert. If this is the worst that they can say about her, then she must be doing pretty well as the president's wife. However, the sick accusations will never stop at just her style though. Rather than giving her credit where it's due bringing attention to her compassion with visiting sick children everywhere she goes, praising and thanking our military members both past and present, and making motherhood a focus in our country again the hateful media wants to accuse her of stealing someone else's style. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.